Hi guys, meet my friend Oregon Morgan. We're gonna go over the different major organs of the body for identification purposes only. So get on in here. All right, let's start from the top. Sorry, Morgan, I'm gonna give you a splitting headache. <laughs> First, we have two parts of the brain, the cerebrum, the big part, and the cerebellum. We also have the brain stem. Here's the tongue. Isn't that crazy? The tongue. Ugh. Next, behind this number four, that's kind of where the larynx is or the voice box. That's kind of thyroid cartilage, but it'd be behind there. Then we have the thyroid gland, the trachea, which is your windpipe. It's striped blue and white. You can see parts of it. We have the lungs. Do you know which one's left one and right one? This is the right, here's the left. And right below we have the diaphragm, which is this reddish colored muscle right here. And if I flip the lungs up, without, you can see the diaphragm from underneath. It separates the abdominal cavity from the thoracic cavity. And then here's a frontal cut through the lungs so you can still see the right and left lungs kind of on the inside. Obviously, I hope you know where the heart is, but coming off the heart is the largest artery, the aorta. And then that takes blood away from the heart. Blood is returned to the heart through the largest veins, which are the inferior vena cava, sorry, the superior vena cava, excuse me, because it's superior and the inferior vena cava, which is right here. Then we have the, well, let's take out the heart. We could see the trachea branching to the lungs and posterior or behind the trachea is the esophagus, the tube that takes food to the stomach when you swallow. And here's the stomach right here, but we need to move the liver, which is your largest internal organ coming out. Behind the liver is the gallbladder. Here's the stomach. You can see the esophagus coming into the stomach. We take out the stomach. The pancreas is nestled behind the stomach and the spleen is also nestled on the side. The spleen is about the size of your fist. Then we have the intestines, small intestines, which are surrounded on the outside by the large intestine. This is the beginning of the large intestine. And this little thing is the appendix. It's about the size of one of your fingers, probably your pinky finger. If we look inside here, we have the descending aorta, which heart back. It curls around and descends to deliver blood. And then we have, there's a superior vena cava, and this is part of the inferior vena cava that goes up into the heart right there, taking blood back. We have our right and our left kidneys, our right and our left adrenal glands. And lastly is our urinary bladder right there. And the reproductive organs of Morgan are not shown in this model, but we will get to them later on in the year.